Hey everyone, my name is Kevin Eckmark. Um, so this is going to be the first episode of hopefully a, a decent series of videos. And to really figure out what I'm going to do, uh, I've got to tell you a little bit more about myself. I am a millennial, much like many of you. Uh, I've got student loans, um, watched the stock market crash when I was at the, the university gym. And I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Graduation day was about six months later. I got out, got a job before graduation, all this stuff. So um, I am married. I've had a house, I'm on my second one now, and I've started two businesses. So what I really hope for this video and hopefully this uh, playlist or a series of videos, whatever it's going to be, will end up helping other millennials, other, uh, especially the younger ones, who are really leaving and getting out into the world and aren't really sure what they're going to do or how to actually make money. Um, and it can range from things where we're going to talk about money, jobs, uh, marriage, all that stuff. So hopefully uh, you're going to enjoy it and I can bring you some value and, and you can actually you know, go into the world, love the Lord and, and grow your faith and also be in the world and, and enjoy everything that life has to offer. So with that said, I'm going to get into episode one. What am I doing? Okay, so after really noodling around and trying to figure out, what am I saying noodling? All right, so I, I watched the market crash, right? All right, so the market crashed, right? And uh, it was pretty disheartening to be running like probably on my second or third mile and uh, my heart's already pounding. And to just watch the Dow and the S&P just crash. Um, and so everyone was freaking out on TV because obviously it's a really big deal. And uh, you know, I had no idea what I was gonna do at that point. I was an art major. And before the market crashed, the old joke was that art majors are gonna live in a box. That's what you're gonna do. Fortunately, all my friends who are also fellow art majors do not live in a box, so it's okay if you are one. Good job. One of the things I really learned from this whole situation was that I can either give up and give in to the fear and uh, uncertainty, or I can just run with that uncertainty and let God do his work. Uncertain times happen, right? So I'm just gonna sit here in my chair and wait for God to do something. But a lot of times what God's doing is just setting them up for uh, the biggest miracles to happen. So, or these, these huge ways that he can show up in your life. What happened for me was that I looked at this uncertainty and God was like, you know what? I have given you these other gifts that you're not even tapping into right now, which is marketing and, and web design and things like that, all internet-based stuff. So about um, a couple months after the market crashed, I ended up finding my first job. Um, before graduation, uh, I was really fortunate enough to, to be one of the few that did that at that time. And it eventually launched a really huge uh, stepping stone into a, a career to where I would uh, start up an agency over in Atlanta and then also start another company um, with church.org. You have two choices the way I see it. Um, you can either, you know, something happens, a circumstance that just alters your plan. Um, of course, it's our plan, right? And you can just sit there and say, you know, God, I'm just going to wait for you to do something, right? Um, because this happened to me and I'm going to wait for you to pull me out of this. Or you could think, you know, gosh, there's this huge amount of uncertainty about my career um, or my relationship, whatever it's going to be. But God, I think you have something planned for me. I'm going to tap into it. I'm going to pray about it. I'm going to be active about it. Cool thing was that I was fairly active about it. Um, I had a lot of encouragement from friends and family and set up with an internship that ended up with a job before I even graduated, which ended up leading into two companies that helped start. Uh, these uncertain times, uh, especially when you're in college, you know, it doesn't even matter what the market's going to do. It just matters how you react to it. So trusting in God, knowing that Jesus is going to be there with you and help you tap into your dreams or your talents that maybe you forgot about. So really embracing these uncertain times is an, uh, an amazing part about being where you are, uh, whether it's a younger millennial that's about to leave college or graduate, or if you just entered the, the marketplace. So there's these awesome opportunities that God just has waiting for you. Take a leap of faith and trust him. And I think that's what a lot of young people just have a tough time doing because it's just, it seems unpractical, right? What I want to do is just encourage you to just start thinking a little bit bigger, you know, chase some dreams, uh, embrace those times of uncertainty, and just see and, and pray where God's going to take you. And, um, and I think that's one of the biggest things that a millennial can learn, just especially in those younger years when you're just leaving education 
over into Akulia. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. And if you love this video and want to see more or check out some of our other stuff like Minute Message episodes, go ahead and subscribe to church.org right up here. And you'll be able to be the first to know about new stuff that's coming out. And we hope to see you in the comments, like the videos, all that stuff. Thanks.